Earlier this year, there was the discovery of a headless torso found in the river in the Belmopan area. It was a gruesome scene as the body was already in a state of decomposition. The discovery of a human head, however, is unprecedented in Belize. And with that, Prime Minister Dean Barrow expressed outrage at the entire incident as it continues to unfold. Like everybody else, I was shaken to the core by what has happened. Um, I would have thought a murder is a murder is a murder, but that ain't so. I mean, Lord, this is absolutely grisly. This is gruesome. This is beyond the pale. Apart from <clears throat> that in itself, I am again completely bowled over, completely flattened by the fact that there are allegations. The <coughs> charges are not just against this foreigner, Canadian, Guyanese, whoever he is, but our local people, that there are Belizeans capable of that sort of thing absolutely petrifies me. Prime Minister Barrow also noted that the current crime situation is enough as is without having to deal with such a case of murder, beheading and kidnapping. Point. I begin to wonder where our society is going. Um, <clears throat> that is, of course, not something that's usual, and I hope we will never again see anything like it. We have enough difficulties as it is with the gang rivalries and with the internecine shootings and, and the murders, especially in Belize City, <clears throat> that the press conference on Monday was designed to address. Of course, it was completely sidetracked because of what happened. So let me just put on record um, how, as I said, absolutely mortified I am that that sort of thing could have happened in our country. With all the questions being formulated and the intense coverage of the Lucas murder investigation, Prime Minister Barrow says that more is being drawn from this than what really is. Just the extent of the questioning makes clear that you all mean to draw more from this than it properly can sustain. What it can sustain is what it is. And I've already considered that optically it is a problem uh, for us politically. But I insist there is no suggestion that the acquaintanceship that various ministers had with this man resulted in any kind of impropriety. I hope to God nobody will try to make the giant leap that seems to be lurking in the wings and suggest that ministers merely in consequence of an acquaintanceship is somehow guilty by association with respect to crimes that this gentleman uh, is accused of having committed. Lord man, we have to draw the line here. Lucas's head was discovered Friday night in the pan of a F-150 pickup truck. <laughs>